Hello, and welcome to this quick tutorial of MyNixOS. MyNixOS is a website that lets you create and share Nix and NixOS configurations. In this tutorial, we'll set up an Nginx web server with NixOS, which we will run using the Linode Cloud Provider. This will let us host a static website over HTTPS. A few of the benefits this will give us is that you will learn how NixOS can be used to easily build a cloud server image, you will get access to NixOS modules, which makes the deployment of Nginx with HTTPS certificates easier, and you will get the control and comfort of a reproducible environment. Using MyNixOS, you'll be able to do this without knowing the Nix configuration language. So we'll start off by going to MyNixOS.com, logging in, and then clicking Create to start a new configuration. We'll call the configuration for demo Linode Nginx and give it a short description. For our configuration, we'll start by setting up some outputs. So we'll add a new output, a NixOS module, and call it Nginx. This uh, module will contain the different Nginx web server settings. To start off, we'll set services, Nginx, enable, in order to enable the Nginx web server. For the virtual host, we'll set the Enable Acme setting to enable the Let's Encrypt certificate. We will also set the Force SSL setting to ensure that we always use HTTPS for our traffic. For the certificate, we also need to set a server name. So we'll set the server name to demo.mynixos.com. Then we'll set the contents which will be served by the website. So we'll set the root setting. And for the root setting, we will actually upload a resource. So we'll go to browse, then select a zip file containing the website which we wish to serve. Last up, we'll set security, ACME, accept terms, just to accept the terms of the Let's Encrypt certificate. And we'll set the defaults email to an email address, which is also a required setting for the certificate. That's all the settings that we need for the web server. So we'll go back to outputs. Next up, we'll add another output. We'll add a NixOS module, call it system and use it to set some system level settings. So for our system, we're just gonna jump down and we're gonna set up an import of our Nginx module. And then we're gonna set services, open SSH enable to enable the SSH service such that we can remotely log into our server. We're also going to disable password authentication over SSH. And then next up, we're going to set a couple of settings for the root user. So we'll go to users, users, and then we are going to set a password for the root user. So just root, root. And then we're going to set the uh, open SSH authorized key. So we're going to set the public key for the root user. So we're going to add a public key and we'll just paste in our public key here. Last up, we're going to set the firewall settings. So we're going to set the um, allowed TCP ports. And here we'll add port 22 for SSH. We'll add port 80 for HTTP. And then we'll add port 443 for HTTPS. And that's all the system level settings that we will need. So now we'll go back to outputs, then we'll add our last output, which is a NixOS generate. So we're going to add this for the x86-64 Linux system, since this is our server hardware. And then for format, we're going to select Linode, such that we can build a Linode image. So we'll create this one, 
and then we will import the uh, system module into this NixOS generate. Now we'll go to inputs and we see that we have the NixOS generators and Nix packages. These have been inferred based on the outputs that we have set. We're just going to update, update these in order to get the locking information that we need such that we can set up a follow. So we'll add a follow of NixOS generators, Nix packages to follow Nix packages. This is just to avoid having separate Nix packages versions within our configuration. Now we'll go to versions, then release to create a release of our Nix configuration. Now that we have our configuration, we'll set up a build to build the actual file system image for the server. Now that we have our build artifact, we're just going to download this. Next up, we'll unpack the build artifact. Next up, we'll uh, upload this image to Linode. Now that our image is ready, we'll deploy this to a new Linode. Remember to update your DNS settings such that the server name points to this correct IP address. For configurations, we'll also edit the configurations and set the kernel just to be grub2 for the boot. We'll also disable these various helpers. Now we'll boot our server. And our website is now running on our Linode instance with a valid HTTPS certificate. Thank you for watching.